So I just pressed record. So welcome to all of you that are new. Welcome to my show. Um, I know that there's a couple of you that are, and I said hello to you already when we started the show, which is fabulous. Um, I'm glad it looks good, which is great. The sun is going down, so the color's changing, and one of my lights um, broke uh, just before the show. It literally tumbled down and completely broke. So um, I'm not happy about that. So if the lighting gets off, I'm really sorry. That's just why. So um, <laughs> that sounds like you. Yeah, with your kids. I know. It's like they know that I'm doing a show right now, right? Um, hang on. There's this one lady that's having a hard time getting on, and I try to do the show, but I don't think I can help her. Just give me a second. Well, no, somebody else can help her. Okay. Um, let me just send her a message. Um, let's see. Okay, there we go. I just messaged, hopefully somebody else can help her just because I have to do the show. All right. Oh, maybe Nancy, is that Nancy, is that you? Let's see, that was having issues? No, that's Nikki, okay, Never mind. Let's get started, you guys. It is 7.01 and uh, tonight, we're going to do something a little bit of a different pace. We're going to create some art journal pages. So let me go through some of the things that we're going to um, use tonight. We may not get to everything, but we're certainly going to try. So for those of you that are following along with me, by all means, um, go ahead and uh, take note. So one of the things that we're going to use tonight is we're going to be using uh, the golden gel medium. You can use any gel medium that you want. Um, we're not going to be, we're going to be using it for texture. So uh, not not like a Mod Podge, so Mod Podge will not work, okay? So it has to be a gel-like consistency, all right? Makes sense? So it doesn't have to be gold, and it can be another brand, but a gel medium of some sort. We're also going to be using um, some modeling paste, okay? Maybe. And we're going to be using um, some Deco Art or Americana. It's the same company. Um, acrylic paint. So we're going to be using um, Purple Cow, Sea Breeze, and Bahama Blue. And I know that the camera does not pick up the right colors, which is fine. So if you have these colors, you actually know what they'll look like. Um, okay, so we'll use those. And then we're also going to be using a yellow. So I'm, I'm using uh, Cadmium Yellow and Mars Black. So any company works doesn't matter don't have to be picky um i'm going to be using this uh cool stamp by recollections this is i got at michael's and i saw it just this past week and i loved it i fell in love with it so we need to use it tonight right so we're going to use that um the journal i'll be using tonight because i know you guys are going to ask me is my delusions creative journal okay it's really great has some really fabulous thick pages so i'll be using that tonight okay and uh yeah and i haven't started on this one i have two and this one i haven't started so we'll we'll get started on it tonight so that's the journal i'll be using and um several stencils that i'll be using tonight are the um this is it doesn't actually have a name but it has an item number it's five six four two five four which is the beautiful raindrops i love them super cute right and then this cool pattern um the number is 564216. And this one is a Crafters Workshop template, and I just love it. I think it's super funky. And this will be for the second page we make. So we might not get to it, but I really, really love it. If we don't get to it, I'll make sure that I do a Friday mixed media tutorial with it, okay? But this is super fun, and it's called uh, Confetti. All right. So I just think it's adorable. Really love that. And then um, the other thing we'll be using is the, uh, this is the Stacked Artful Words 
uh, Sizzlet by Tim Holtz or Sizzix. Okay. So there's that. So we'll be using that tonight. And for those of you that have never used a Big Shot, you can watch me use one because I know people actually ask me all the time how to use one since they don't have one. Um, a couple, a few of the stamps that we'll be using tonight. I had another one. Where did it go? Did I lose it somewhere? Oh, here it is. Um, we'll be using this stamp. This is, um, these are stupendous, uh, stupendous stamps. This one's called Jumbo Tulip. Okay. And for some reason, something's wet there. Um, we'll be using this beautiful bird and the text, stunning. This is called Kling Jumbo Songbird. And then this one is called Jumbo Dogwood. Okay. And then one of these butterflies, and these are clear stamps by Kaiser Craft, and it's called Tiger Lily. Okay. I know, right? Why are my children screaming? Sorry, it caught me off guard. Um, the other thing we'll be using, um, well, I won't be using this tonight, but one of the things that I wanted to talk about is the color wheel. And... Um, the color wheel, we're going to, I'm creating, um, it should be done this week, by the end of this week, or at least at the beginning of next week, um, I'll have an online class, and it's really the um, beginners and intermediate classes to art journaling and colors and mixing and all of that, so um, I just wanted to give you a heads up, so keep an eye um, on it. It is a paid class, and uh, you'll be able to have the video forever. Um, so it's really great, um, for all you, um, beginners and these, uh, color wheels and stuff will, um, be for sale. Um, this will be, sorry, this will be part of the class kits. So you'll have the option to purchase, um, materials with the class or just the class as a video. Okay. So, uh, so you'll have those. And then tonight, the other thing I'm going to use tonight is, um, this is a Canson palette. It's a disposable palette, and sometimes I like to use them because I'm very lazy, and um, I don't like to clean my dishes, right? So I'll be using, and it's kind of shiny, so I'll be putting my paint on here, right? So you can get this at Michael's or any of your, uh, I don't know if actually you can get this at Michael's. Maybe you can, um, but I know at your local art store you sure, certainly can. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing tonight, okay? Sound good? Should we get started? Yes? Great. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open our art journal. And I don't want to do this first page. I actually just kind of want to split it into these two pages. All right. And I can see it's really, really delayed. And because this is super white, it's off frame. So hang on a sec. We need something black. We need something black, maybe right there. Let's see. Let's see if it focuses. Come on, baby. Did it focus? Yeah, that's better, right? Nope. And it goes off again. We'll just have to leave it like somewhere here for a moment. Otherwise, it's going to be out of focus. The camera doesn't like it. It needs black. There we go. Okay, what we're going to do, this is a really simple technique, okay, really, really fun. We're going to take our first color, which is cadmium yellow. It can be any yellow, okay, and we're just going to apply it on our page, just like this, okay, just like so. It looks much, uh, it looks really neon <laughs> on camera, I promise you it really isn't neon at all. Uh, purple cow. Okay, and I'm going to be squirting some on here as well. Okay, just like that. And the reason that I know these colors match is because I used my color wheel. And then it, it's not, I promise you, it's really not that bright. It's so funny how the camera picks that up. Um, the other one is Sea Breeze. Okay. And there's almost nothing left. Oops, on here. These are such gorgeous colors. And then last but not least, the Bahama Blue. Okay. 
and it's a little bit darker than the breeze okay just like that so we're going to put these off to the side and what we're going to do next is something really really fun that you all can do yourselves which is i'm going to take it this way because the journal is so new i'm going to take the page and i'm going to squish it and what you want to do is you want to actually make sure that you have um, a cloth or something otherwise your journal and everything else is going to get totally dirty and so you're going to squish it and you're going to take your brayer okay see how it's squirting out i don't know if you can even see that let me put some black there okay it's going to squirt out i promise you it will and you'll get some on that other page which is super fun to do another plate page later right you can't see it but that's okay it's squirting out trust me and i'm just trying to actually grab it with my brayer so that i can do the next page okay very very fun <laughs> so never waste paper or never waste, waste paint so any excess that's kind of squirted out i'm just using it right now to get the other page okay to work and so while we're playing today um i don't want to do this page quite yet so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some um paper towel so that it kind of doesn't dry onto each other and i'm going to open this up to reveal our funky 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 page okay isn't this cool I know it looks super bright i promise you it really isn't all that bright really really fun okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to remove this for a moment because now it's kind of everywhere really gunky paper towel works really well because then you can just throw it out and i'm just going to use some with my fingers now what i want to do is i want to kind of cover some of those white spots so i can still take my brayer and kind of keep brayering until the rest of my page gets covered okay. just like that I'm just pulling some of that color but I really like the texture that putting pages together creates <laughs> you guys are funny little art journaling fun isn't it i'm just brayering it out just to kind of blend a little bit more really cool color combination and to be honest with you it's this is not the true color that it's showing up and so what i'm going to do is i really like the way that it looks and now i'm going to do it one more time okay and it gives me a chance to use my brayer again and the reason I'm doing it one more time is because now it'll take all that funky, funky texture. And I'm going to zoom up close so that you guys can see. But check out this really cool texture that this page created. Can you guys see that? It's kind of veiny. Isn't that cool? So what we're going to do next is we would like... We really want to go ahead and give this a nice heat set so if you have um yeah and you know what's really cool is that because this um this kind of has uh so much paint you could you could grab anything like you really technically could grab this stamp and i'm going to do this just so that i could show you and i guarantee you it'll create a really cool effect i want to show you really fun watch this can you guys see it up close? These are acrylics. I don't know if you guys can even see the pattern. Right? So anyhow, it's just another cool technique. And what you can do is for another page, right, is you can take that acrylic paint that you had on your stamp and you can stamp it. Right? and it creates a really beautiful pattern so never waste isn't that beautiful i just love that i think that looks so beautiful okay 
yeah it's it's really really cool all right so what we're going to do is we're going to give this a quick heat set so ask me any questions you want now while i just take a quick um peek into it hey how's it going Oh, are the ads being annoying? I'm sorry. Um, what if you don't have a brayer? You can use anything. You can use your hand. Like, it doesn't matter. You can use um, a rolling pin. Right? Like, you can use anything you want. Just use your hand and just wipe through it. You don't need a brayer. Yeah, rolling pin. And you can get them cheap at the uh, dollar store too. A ruler, um, you can you can use anything, trust me. I love as this dries how beautiful the texture gets. A spoon, yeah, credit card, you got it. There was so much. Empty wine bottle. Oh my god, you guys are hilarious. There is a lot of people on tonight. Holy moly. Don't you worry. There'll be more yellow to come. And so what I'm doing, you guys... So I'm just going to turn this down for a second. So what I'm doing is, um, as I'm heating it up, because I really want some more texture, is I am getting the gun a little bit closer to the page, and I'm allowing that page to the paint to bubble, okay? And it just creates a really funky texture as well, okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm almost done drying. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Chocolate Lab. See, almost dry in most places. <laughs> hey from Vancouver, how are ya? Awesome. Almost done, baby. Almost done. And I'll show you up close because the texture is just amazing. You that's because you can do it. Oh hang on. Let me allow links. Sorry. Uh allow links. There we go. Drawing some up here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm creating really cool bubbles. Can you guys see that? Except it stinks. Whew. <laughs> You're a groupie? Okay. I think that's good enough. Alright. Oh, except for the bottom there. Okay, hang on. One more. A wet spot. I found a wet spot. <laughs> okay. 
all right so now what i want to do is i'm going to set this off to the side for a moment and i'm going to put my black stays on uh, thing there just so that we can not get fuzzy for a moment and i'm just going to put this right here but what i want to do is i'm going to take some white paper and i'm going to take my stamps okay these beautiful beautiful stamps what happened are you okay no are you gonna be all right okay sorry ava bonked her head can you hear you did you run into the wall yeah oh boy ava ran into a wall okay sana sana colita de rana si no sana hoy sanara mañana okay i just gave you my magic spell okay now go upstairs okay go get some ice on it get ask Hannah to get you a little piece of ice did you guys hear my little Spanish um, magic potion? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some white paper. Sorry, that took a... Uh, and just a scrap piece of paper will do. And I have one right here. And so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some stays on ink. You need a permanent ink for this. Ah. <laughs> And we'll use this guy and we need a block we need a block will this work nope maybe this one I think this one's big enough sort of sort of it kind of fits yep there we go we'll do this one and I don't know about you guys but stays on in kind of drives me nuts because I find that it dries out really quickly but anyway they are fabulous, right? Fabulous, fabulous stamps. It's like, I swear I just refilled this thing. And it's like practically dried out. I don't know. It is. I find that it's just such a gorgeous stamp. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be fussy cutting this out. So, I'm, and we're going to be painting it. So I'm not too worried. Okay. Just like that. And I'm just standing up so that I can really get a good stamp. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. See how dried out that is? Hmm. Okay. Hang on. I have another stays on ink. Let me see if this one works. I don't like that. Even though it's mixed media, that drives me nuts. Let's try this puppy out. Let's try that. Okay. We won't use that one. That one sucks. That one just made me mad. Who are you going to dot? Let's see. Well, that's better. It's better, but it's not fabulous. I don't know. I think my stays on inks might have to go in the garbage. Seriously. And I have, you have to use permanent ink. I can't find my archival ink, otherwise I would use it. I just don't know where it went. My Ranger archival, I use that one too. I just don't know where it went. Sometimes I lose them in classes. Okay. And then we don't need the full thing of this one because we're going to be doing some corners. So we'll just cut that out a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, that's all we need for that. And then we're gonna pull this one off and we're gonna put it back in its case because we don't need it anymore. Okay, and we're gonna take this guy. I think this is the dogwood. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing. And then we're going to have fun with some painting. Some watercoloring, to be exact. Yay, you made it! Woo some art journaling fun. Okay, these are going to be fussy cut it out, so I'm actually not worried about where they're 
sitting, right? Okay. Come on, baby. Stamp nicely. Okay, good. Nice enough. Nice enough. I can handle that. And then, last but not least, we'll do the bird after. We'll paint him last. But let's do a little bit more of this dog wood. But just like in the corner there. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's close this up for now. And then we'll do the bird after. Since we have some coloring to do. I forgot to pull out my watercolor. So I'll do that. So let's do that. I'm going to grab those. And I'm just going to grab my cheapo ones because they're right in front of me. I love them. Any of you can get this at your local Michaels. Super cheap. Really fun. You don't need anything expensive. Okay. Thank you. And then what I like to use, I just like to use the pretty, um, these are like these ones like this. This is a watercolor uh, brush or um, there's thinner ones and there's thicker ones. I'm just grabbing them so that you can see. These are all water brushes. Okay. So really, really fun. So I'll use this one tonight and then maybe the big one as well. And water brushes are just way too much fun. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of my water that's right in front of me. As you can see, there's a little glass right there. Okay, and that's what I'll be using. Dipping my brush. And then let's start. Let's say this is the bad one, right? So let's do this one right here. So what we're going to do is because the page that we created right here, right? What we want to do is... We want to ensure that it's a color that's not going to be, you know, nasty with it. So what we could do is we create, we could create um, kind of like a purple and a really dark pink with it. Okay. Cause that it'll, that'll be pretty, pretty nice. So I'm just getting it nice and wet. Okay. That's all I'm doing right now. And a sure way to kind of get your um, things to be nice and wet is sometimes I just take my water bottle. All right. Take that off and then I just give this a quick spray okay just like that and now they're wet now they have water on them and now I can play right really really easy so that's what you want to do with the it and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the dark outer edges and just like this. We're going to be fussy cutting this out at the end, okay? And you can keep layering. I love watercoloring. Really forgiving, that's for sure. Very, very forgiving. And if you go over the lines, don't worry because you can go ahead and cut this out in the end. So who cares? So by all means, go over the lines. Does every, anybody have any questions? Oh, who's the stamps? The stamps are by Stipendus. Stamp, Stampendus. Okay. And you are forgiven. You don't have to, um, you don't have to worry. Gonna be watching me watercolor tonight. <laughs> Maybe we'll get through only one uh, one uh, art journal page, but this is really fun and relaxing for those of you that have never um, watercolored before. It's really really fun. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go with a little bit of my lighter tone, which is right beside it. I don't know if you can you see that. Let me just move this here so that maybe you can see. So now I just use this color right here. So now I'm going with this one and I know the camera doesn't show the right colors because the camera is a little bit off, but it's the a lighter color of it. And if you want to make it even lighter, just add some water. Okay. And don't worry if there's too much water building on your page, just move it around. You'll be just fine. And the more water you put with the watercolors, they just kind of blend into each other. 
which is much more forgiving than sometimes when you're using acrylic. So watercoloring can be a lot of fun and great for beginners. Okay. Yeah, watercolors are just fabulous. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my lightest color and it has a little bit of brown in it. So, uh, cause I think my kids might have been playing with it, which I do let them use some of my art supplies. I admit it, I do admit. I'm not a bad mom. I just want them to, you know, have artistic freedom. You know what I mean? I like my kids to have artistic freedom. And I'm just adding a little bit of that lighter tone over the top up here. I am going to be putting a little bit of white on the edges here and there. Okay. What do you guys think so far? Is that pretty nice? Really fun, right? Really, really fun. Watercolors, awesome. And I'm thinking maybe... Um, We'll do this middle one and maybe a little bit of that darker purple because I think that'll be a lot of fun as well. So let's actually do the middle in a little bit of um, like a really, really dark purple. And don't worry, you'll still be able to see it. It'll dry. Okay. So I did grab a little bit too much, which is fine. I'm just taking some of that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blot it with a little bit of paper towel. There we go. Okay. I just went a little bit overboard. My brush was a little bit too wet. I do have a um, towel beside me, a paper towel beside me, which I tend to use. And then I'm just going to do this brush, the little brush strokes, the little lines right there. Did I see Tanya Gibbs is on? thought I saw her on. Maybe I'm dreaming. It's kind of hard for me to keep up with the chat and work at the same time. I do. I have a I have a glass right there, so I clean off my brush. I sure do, and then I have a little towel right beside me, and I clean it off. Okay, and then now what I want to do is I want to go with my lighter color, my lighter color purple. So I did one dark, one medium, and then this is more um, of that same color that we used here. It's kind of a purpley pink, so that's what I want to use, and it kind of makes it all tie in together, if you will, right? And so, as I said, don't worry if you're going over the lines, no big deal. And the beautiful thing is, is because of the, it's a watercolor, what it, what will happen is the purple from um, here will kind of blend into the next color, which is awesome, which is kind of what you want. You want some blending to occur, okay? And at the end of all of this, I will be adding some white and such to my petals. Then I just want a little bit of purple right here, a little bit of that darker purple for some shading. Okay. So I'm not cleaning my brush off because I do want it to be a little bit darker. Same thing right here. Um, you can get it at any art supply store. The color wheel. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I, I order mine, so I don't I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you can get them at any art supply store. Okay. I'm totally in the zone, I have to admit. This is like my favorite thing to do. Totally in the zone. And this is kind of like a different type of art journal, right? It's not the usual, but really, really fun. Okay, and so after this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some white for some shading, and I might even use some acrylic paint to do that, but this is really, really fun. And then what I wanna do is I do wanna add a little bit of a lighter pink here and there, because that will also provide a little bit of shading, and it is still a little bit wet, so I might just wait a little bit to continue adding a little bit of pink, but there's some areas that are dry, so I'm just 
I'm just going ahead and doing it anyway. Okay. Like this area is really, really dark for me. And so I'm just, I can blot it with my finger and add a little bit of pink and it just tones it down just a tad, even that lighter pink. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Love that. So much better. Just like that. And then we want a little bit of green right there. Okay, just a little bit of green. And I'm not entirely sure we'll be using the um, stem, but I'm doing it anyway in the green. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our, this guy right here, and then a little bit of that one. So this one we want to do once again, sorry if I'm boring you, but we're going to take that darker color again, right? And we're going to go around the edges and create some shading. Kind of like if you were, you know, using your co Copex. Not that I'm an expert in Copic uh, drawing at all or whatsoever. I suck at it. It's just not my forte. I don't practice enough, so I'm not very good at it. But that's okay. You don't judge me, right? Okay. All right, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the next color, which is a little bit lighter. And start to blend. And like I said, watercolor is so forgiving. So you don't have to worry about how your brush stroke looks. It just kind of all blends together. So for those of you that are not expert, um, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not using watercolor paper, by the way, which is really fun. I know, I do I do love them too. It's not that I don't love them. I'm just not good at it. Joe Paper Drama is like the queen. I just love her work. If you guys have not seen her videos, you must. I just like, I'm mesmerized when she does her videos. Just mesmerized. She's so good at them. It does take a ton of practice, right? And I've never, I, actually I lied. I have taken a class once and... I, I was bored to tears. I took it at CHA, actually. Uh, no, no, not CHA. I lied. At um, at a, um, uh, like a wholesaler's event. And I was bored to tears. And so, anyway, the class bored me to tears. Not, you know. Oh, no worries. Welcome. For, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. You guys, don't worry if you're late to my show ever. This is just you really, it's for fun. Don't feel obligated. Like, don't feel like, oh my gosh, Lemur's going to kill me. Are you kidding me? I'm just so happy that you enjoy my shows and, and that you join me every Tuesday. So please, by all means, everybody's got things that they need to do, right? So if you can make it, great. And if you can't, you can't. That's just how it works. So it's just the way life goes. We all have families. We all have things that we need to do. So I completely understand. I can't make everybody's show. I get invited all the time. And unfortunately, I can't. I try really hard. But I can't always. So I so totally get it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of that lighter pink. I just kind of want it to be a little bit softer than the last one. So I'm adding a little bit of that lighter pink. And like I said, for those of you that are joining late, if I'm going over the lines, it's okay because I am, um, I'm going to be fussy cutting this out anyhow. So who cares? Who cares? Right? Who cares? So I'm being pretty rough with it. I'm not caring too, too much. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So what I'm going to do now, you guys, is I'm going to fussy cut this out. And then we're going to start applying them to our page, to our art journal page. And, um, but before I do that, let me give them a quick heat set so that they dry up. And then we'll add the white once they're fussy cutted. Any questions?
Yes, classy. Um, let me see here. Yes, would you like to be my moderator, Classy D? I'm making you mine. <laughs> I can see you. There's so many viewers, it's kind of hard for me to go through the... Hang on a sec. Mm -hmm. I cannot find you. Okay, hang on. Isn't that fun? They're so pretty. I just love them. Yes, I stamped the flowers with uh, the stupendous stamps, um, which I'll show you in a moment since I put them on the side. Stupendous stamps. Uh, let me see. Where are they? These, whoo, they just fell. This, uh, these jumbo stamps okay they're awesome 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 okay i'm gonna go ahead and grab my fussy cutting scissors which i left over there give me a moment i buried them i buried them using a project ow that was my knee that was my knee and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out so that I can do this on frame. It's easier that way. And this is our bad one, so I'm just going to chuck it in the garbage. You really don't need it. And Classy D, I can't make you moderator right now because I'm having a hard time finding you, but if you could just be my moderator, that would be awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give these puppies a quick fussy cut and they won't be, they'll be um, pretty fast because they are pretty big, so not too, too bad. And like I said, because I went over the lines, it doesn't matter. Let me close my door because my furnace just kicked in and it's like literally right beside my room when the doors open and it sounds like a jet plane is going through my room. So let me go do that. Is that better? Just white card stuff, not watercolor paper. You don't need to. You can, it just has a different effect. You certainly don't have to. Not everybody has watercolor paper. So I just wanted to show you a different option of uh, what to use. This is like a basil, basil, whatever they call it, um, heavy cardstock. It's that double, um, it's kind of like that double heavy cardstock that they have. So that's what I'm using. Okay. And it's 7.44. We still may have time for a second page. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. I'm trying to be speedy, fussy cut. Speedy, Limor, fussy cut. <laughs> All right. I love these scissors. These are um, my favorite fussy cutting scissors by Fiskars. I just love them. They have a spring in them, and so they really help me fussy cut. I just love that. And just like that. Okay, so there's one done. And if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. It's art journaling. Nothing needs to be perfect in art journaling, right? I'm all quiet because I'm trying to 
go pretty fast here. Does any, anybody have any questions? That you may need answered while I fussy cut? I need an assistant here while I do Ustreams to fussy cut my stuff, right? Or pre-prep, pre but it's kind of hard to pre-prep some of this stuff. Okay, there's another one. That was pretty fast. Yeah, you can use an X-Acto knife. <laughs> You'll do it? Okay, well, better get over here. I'll send you my address and come be my assistant. I need one. I need one to prep my kits for Israel. Oh my goodness. I definitely need one. What'd you say what for? I'm teaching four or eight actually workshops in Israel. It's like four, but doing them twice. So I got to prep quite a bit of classes. <laughs> you want to be an apprentice? Okay. I promise you the pay isn't great as an apprentice. Almost done. Hopefully I won't I'm not losing a whole lot of you by fussy cutting. <laughs> you want to soak up the knowledge? Okay. All right. And we'll just do that tiny little piece right there. Okay, so there's that. And then last but not least, just this one, and that's it. Okay. And so one of the things that we're going to do is these flowers, the black really isn't all that black in them and it kind of drives me nuts and I really want it to pop so what we're going to do is we're going to take our black acrylic ink and um, or even our um, we could even take our charcoal pencil and really darken them up and give them some really beautiful shadowing which I think that's what we'll do is we'll take our charcoal pencil which is really fun to use baby come on all right there we go ta-da I did it I did it baby all right now let's bring our page back our funky funky page funky funky page I know it looks way brighter on camera I promise you it's really not is it the right side yeah this yellow really does look bright on the camera, doesn't it? So funny. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start applying these flowers kind of here and there. And what we want to do is we want to just watch because we still need to put our title of the page, right? Artists, right? And enjoy the journey. So we don't want to totally take away from the um we just want to make sure that there's room that's all okay and then the other thing that we want to do is we want to create um some really funky 
background or some some texture some drippage I'm not sure I'm going to use this one I think I'll use it in the next page but what I do want to do is I want to paste these down first so let's do that and the way that I'm going to do that is um, by using some gel medium so let's do that but I actually want the soft one so I'm just going to grab that I'm just going to use a small one. This is a shimmery one, which is okay. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We won't we won't really see it because we're just doing the back. So you can use Mod Podge or something like that. Okay, no worries. you can go ahead and apply some over the top and if it's shiny that's totally fine no worries a little shine does a whole lot of good just getting underneath there I'm sorry I'm off frame the camera moved a little bit there we go is that better that a little bit better okay just like that make sure you really get it in there not really uh, oh yeah it's it's easy to manage um, because you can go over it and it creates a really nice uh, sealing effect whereas if you were to use you know like a liquid glue it would kind of get sloppy all over the place this is intended for decoupage right so yes there is that advantage that this is what it was kind of made for so certainly that's what i would use is these types of types of glues versus um you know a li another liquid glue so ranger has some uh this is from creative uh this is from i don't know who makes this but it's called creative medium it is a full house tonight Woo -woo. people liking their um art journals people knew it was art journaling night if you guys are nice to me i might do one more page we'll have to see i'm trying to be as fast as i can but sometimes i just don't work that fast trying to watch the chat is just um distracting sometimes okay then on to the next, second page uh okay not so oh. mod podge works fabulous if that's what the question was it went a little bit too fast so i couldn't see but yes mod podge is fabulous by all means okay and i'm just applying it right there kind of coming down and then applying a little bit over the top and look how beautiful the color just kind of pops doesn't it when i apply some of that medium just love that kind of becomes one with the page and do you guys see that the colors don't really clash it's because i used my color wheel but to learn that you got to come to my online class which I promised the online class. I don't know if some of you missed that, but um, I will having I will be having an online class series for beginners and intermediates on art journaling and um, color blending and uh, mediums and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Within the next week and a half, that should be up and ready to go. Woohoo! Awesome. All right, so this one kind of goes right there, I think. I don't know. Mm, that one's facing that way, so maybe this one should face. Mm, I kind of liked it there, so that's fine. We'll do that one there. What do you think? We still haven't even done the bird. We still need to do the bird somehow. Maybe we won't even use them tonight. We shall see. Perfect.
perfect. So what I want to do now is, oh, it's so shimmery. It's so cute. What I want to do now is I want to give this a quick uh, heat set because um, I'm going to apply a little bit of my white as well as um, some definition to these flowers. I have no idea what's happening to my camera, but it keeps turning. It's the craziest thing today. It's like it's on drugs. So sorry about that. good now no it's not sorry about that you guys hang on I think that should be all right oh what what are you asking what did I blew the flowers down with with a creative medium. It's like a gel medium. My online classes will be, um, depends on which ones they are, but approximately $35. There's one for 25, there's one for 35, there's one for 55. Just depends what, um, what class you, you um, get. Yeah. It is. It's pretty industry standard. They'll be up in about a week. Okay. And I promise you I will um, have links on my blog and um, in the in my Limor Mixpedia group. So It'll all be on my blog to sign up. There'll be a whole section and there'll be online classes. Okay. Um, Classy D, can you, Catherine, can you post my blog, please, for them? Thank you. All right, perfect. So what I want to do next is I want to do some of that white. So remember, I wanted to... Um, add a little bit more white and but first actually before we do the white I'm gonna use a different kind of white this is kind of like that um, chalky pencil it's kind of like a like one of these right but in the white so I just want to add a little bit like right there okay just a little bit and um, they're kind of like a what do you call it what is this called graphite pen right but in the white so that's what I want to do here it's nice and white and it just gives it a little bit of a nice shadow okay and you can blend it with your finger which is really really fun so you don't necessarily need to use the watercolor okay and I'm going to do the same thing right here not too much It is. It's awesome. I'm not doing it on this one too much because you won't be able to see it anyway. But a little bit right here. Yeah, it's kind of like a graphite pen, if you will. Pencil. I, chalk won't work. It'll kind of come off, I think. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So what we want to do next is we want to give this a little bit of definition. So I'm just taking my black one and going over some of the darker lines. And this works really perfectly because you can actually blend, which I really, really love. So you don't have to do the full thing, but just a little bit. Just give it a little bit more definition because... 
black really just allows things to pop. These charcoal pencils are awesome. Love them. I have a love affair with my charcoal pencil. Okay, so just like that. And I might just do the one flower just to show you so that we can continue with a page and then I'll finish that off after. But I just, um, I wanted to show you what it looks like once it's completely done but can you guys see it pop isn't that awesome it's like it totally comes to life that's kind of what i like about it and i actually keep my um charcoal pencil dull on purpose i don't like it overly sharp it really allows me to blend things a little bit better and i really love that doesn't that pop do you guys see that If you don't have these pencils, they're like super cheap. They're like a dollar, a dollar twenty. Like honestly, they do not like the most it'll cost you is three dollars. Um, so they're not very expensive, and they're you can get them at your local art store, and they're just fabulous, honestly. I bet you even Michaels carries them, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, so just like that, we'll do that last little bit. What do you guys think? Isn't that funky? <laughs> Feeling needy for charcoal pencils? I know. Isn't that awesome? Just It just kind of just popped. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the charcoal pencil and I'm going to go around the edges of the flower here as well. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shadowy effect. If I can, I might take my gelato and do this because I think the gelato will work a little bit better, but that's fine. Yeah, I will. I'm going to take my gelato in a moment. Okay. But I just kind of want it to pop um, a little bit. A little bit. You know, not the good one. I mean, it actually, it depends. Um um on your number so um some are softer than others okay yeah some are softer than others so it just depends which one you get so i'm not going to do um the rest of the flowers for now let's move on with the rest of the project and i can do this um after okay and i'll show you the finished product once we're done does that make does that work for everybody then you don't have to watch me do that okay so what we want to do next is now we want to i'm just going to put this aside for a moment and we're going to take our awesome stencil or not stencil die our die and the big shot and i'm hoping that you guys can see this i know some of you have asked me to please show you how to work the big shot so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to take this really funky page or die I keep calling it page what is wrong with me and I have a long um, setter, okay, the extended space platform. You need this long one, okay. And you're going to apply it just like so. And you need some paper, of course. So because we have some purple and, and such down, um, I actually want some black. I do. I really want some black. Oh, no, or gray. Or black, or gray, or black, or gray. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, no, I know what I want. I want teal. Aha, that's what I want because there's some teal on that page. So that's what I want. Let's see how this will go. Maybe not quite that color. Let's see this color? Not quite that color. Hang on, I'm just grabbing one. I'm trying to find the right one. Just trying to find the right one. Step back if you need that dye. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Okay, so we need this teal right there. Because it really goes with that paper. I know it's hard. The camera doesn't ju show it justice, but it's a beautiful teal. And so I'm just going to use my scissors. Okay, and I'm going to apply this down. And it's literally 12 by 12. So you're going to put one plate down, the other one on top. 
just like so and let me just turn it this way sorry because the handles on the other side and you're gonna crank I'm just gonna crank it baby just like that and then I like to sometimes go twice okay just to ensure that it's really perforated okay and then I'm gonna take my big shot and put it away right here I'm gonna take my die okay you'll see do you see how cool that is Isn't that neat and so now you can literally take it onto the page and you can just punch it out so you can go vision okay so vision and there's artist Look how fun that is and we can use our charcoal pencil to really make it pop Okay. might not use vision not sure I like the vision part but I really love the enjoy the journey and because I ran it twice it cut it up and so we can't use it because it totally messed it up so don't run it twice you guys apparently they cut just fine I had to use this die before I just um, I don't know I was afraid that it wasn't gonna cut and this this cardstock is not really all that thick so it cut it just fine it overcut so note to self do not go over it twice depending on the size of your cardstock so um, I really want the enjoy the journey so I'm just gonna give it one more cut because I really did love it so let's do that let's do it what do you say so I'm just gonna literally put it over here and I'm not running it twice enjoying the journey turned out just perfect you guys must get that die if you don't have it you must get it it's just awesome if you can find it okay I'm just popping all these guys out and they come out really easily as you can see just like that okay so enjoy the journey right and I love these numbers but what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna cut them apart and put one right here and um, I kind of like artists and then maybe enjoy the journey down here just like that but what it needs is it needs a little bit of a pop so what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this stencil by Prima which is the chevron stencil and as I said I'm going to use some modeling paste so I'm going to take a little bit of modeling paste and make this puppy just pop and so you're going to just take a knife and with this stencil you got to be careful because it is quite thin and so just moving this off to the side so you have to just watch just go in one direction okay don't try to be all crazy you can get some on the flower that's fine see how it just kind of pops it gives it a little something and if you don't do that I'll find that it just doesn't quite look the same okay just like that Isn't that beautiful I love that stencil you can even do it all over here as well so that the words kind of come off of it it doesn't have to be like the perfect 
cool, huh? So really, really fun. I really like that. So I'm just putting this in the sink. Okay. So we're going to give this a quick heat set and then we can go ahead and apply those awesome words. Okay. But I just need to always close your modeling paste or it does dry out. Just so you know. No, it stays white. Gel medium does dry transparent. Do you guys like this page so far? Yes, it is liquid tech. Okay, that's dry enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply our numbers and such. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply them with um, some of that gel medium as well. And actually, you know, you know what? We're going to apply them with um, just some, some of this glue. Okay. Just going to apply a little bit of this glue on them. And I think they'll be just fine. They'll apply just fine. And this is the Beacon 3-in-1. Okay. We don't necessarily need, need to use the, the medium, okay? And then we'll do artist up here, okay? Just This is just three and one from Beacon. That's all this is. You can go ahead and use the gel medium. I'm just not, just not doing it. I don't think I need to. I'm just applying it right here and don't worry it's going to pop in a moment when we apply the charcoal pencil on it okay and then I'm going to put these awesome numbers kind of randomly down here lots of people on tonight it's so fabulous to always see okay just applying it like this okay just like so, and then enjoy the journey. We'll just, just kind of go right there. Okay. This one will be a little bit more difficult to glue, which is why I'm kind of using the three in one because of the modeling paste. You want to ensure that you use something that's pretty tacky so that it doesn't come off. And don't worry if you get some glue on your page, it doesn't matter. Okay, and this is really nice and stringy. Just like that. Okay, and I promise you once we apply the um, charcoal pencil, it'll really, really pop. Or if you don't have a charcoal pencil, another alternative is if you have the gelatos, these work really, really well as well. So anything you want um, works, and I'll show you. You just need to make sure I kind of, if you're going to use a gelato, you kind of want to use just the edge. So I would really open it up and then get close to the edge and then blend okay just like that and i'll use the gelatos for those that don't have a charcoal pencil so that you can kind of see how i will be using them but anything works the gelatos will give more of a shadow effect than the charcoal pencil so whatever effect you want is what i would recommend using okay does that make sense zoom in Okay, just a moment. Not that easy. Just a moment. Just a sec. Is that better? It's the best I can do. Okay. Did you say zoom in or zoom out? 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Just a moment. <laughs> Is that better? How's that? Is that uh, just a tiny bit better? No, yes, yeah, sort of, kind of. Okay, is that all right? Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. It's hard for me to kind of see while I'm creating. So thank you, Classy D. Do you guys see how the artist just kind of popped? Right? Isn't that cool? So before it was just kind of like this blimp, whereas now, like if you get up close, you can really see how funky it is. I did. Because don't yell. I'm doing a show. You're going to be in trouble. Get out of here. Go upstairs. No, no whining. You're about to go on a timeout. And tomorrow we won't take you to West Edmonton Mall to the swimming pool. So go upstairs. Right. Go upstairs now. Because I said so. Is that a good enough reason? That's what I thought. Not right now. I'm just kind of applying it and then giving it with my finger. So I'm not trying to be perfect or anything, just like that, and it really pops. <laughs> my cute little chipmunk. She is. She's so funny. I have to threaten her or otherwise she just she doesn't care. She's so like free spirited. This kid does anything she wants. The only thing that works with her is threats. You won't do this. You don't go upstairs. Okay. And then what I want to do is I actually really want this to have a shadow as well because I kind of want them to, I want to get that starkness out of there. And what I really want actually, right, is do you guys remember at the beginning we created that really fun texture it really, really pops when you use the gelatos. And I don't know if you can see that, but the texture of the page really, really... Um, Die-cutting machine, I love my Vagabond or the um, Big Shot. Either one. But, yeah. And then, um, and then of course... Of course, let's not forget the Cameo, but totally different, right? Totally different type of die cutting machine. I love my Cameo. Love, 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 love my Cameo. Seriously, love. I cannot say it enough because you can design anything with it, which is so fun. So if you don't have a Cameo, go get one. Can you talk much I love it? Just saying. I want to show you the really amazing texture that it created. Look at this, you guys. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. Is that not the coolest? Yes, I, I have not, I've, I haven't had it for long. What, uh, two, three months maybe or so? Yeah, something like that. And, uh, and I love it, love it. Maybe a little, maybe I've had it a little bit longer. I can't remember. Yeah, two, three months, maybe. That sounds about right. Okay. Isn't this a cool page? What do you guys think? Right? Like, it just really, really popped. And so what I would do, as you can see, if you notice, this flower is significantly more, is significantly darker because we used our charcoal pencil. So really important when you're doing any of that watercoloring stuff on the stamps, go ahead and make sure that you, um, you know, really go over these lines, right? And they'll, they'll just really, really pop. And it'll just really help your image just pop out of the page, right? So I'll do that after. Um, so what I want to do, and so this is a super simple page, right? And I really, um, so I got to tell you, I've been getting so many messages um, to, you know, do a page that's not totally crazy and not overly spray crazy and stuff. So that's why I decided to do this page because not everybody is at the same pace, okay? 
So um, that's, I will post some stills, I promise. Um, so this is kind of a page that's pretty, you know, pretty basic. So for those of you that are um, fairly new at art journaling, this is something that you can all do and pretty easy, not anything crazy. All right. So do you guys want to do one last page, really quick one? Just for fun, just a spray fun. What do you guys think? One last one, we'll do it just right here. Okay. Um, uh, okay, cool, one more, all right, let's do one more. Let's do a little bit of spraying. For those of you, for us, is Lisa Gregory on here? She's a spray junkie like I am. So let's do that, okay? And I am going to use, what I would like to introduce to you tonight is Lindy Stamp Gang has brought, um, we have um, redone the Flat Fabio, um, Flat Fabio formula. And so what we've done is we've made them brighter. And so these are the Flat Fabios, which is just the straight um, spray the, uh, ink. It's not, no shimmer. And so they are unbelievable. You guys should see the new colors. So I have them all right here, which is what we're gonna use, okay? So all the new Flat Fabios, they are super bright. They're brighter than Delusions. And they're, we have like hundreds of colors. Okay, so we're going to do some yellow, we're going to do some green, what else are we going to do? So, oh, this is one of my favorites, we'll do those, I think, for now, and maybe like, I don't know, maybe this orange or something. Let's try those and see how they go, maybe very rainbow-like, okay, and so we'll start with uh, maybe the blue. And then we'll do the green. So this one's called Ocean Breeze Blue. And you don't really need to shake. You can just spray. You guys see that? Super bright. And it's not really the color that's showing up on camera, which drives me nuts, but that's okay. This one's called Luscious Lime. And look how they blend. Just gorgeous. <gasps> gorgeous. And then we want to do, um, let's do some of the orange. No, the red. This is going to turn brown. You should never put red with green, but that's okay. I just did it. Um, <laughs> they make you thirsty. All right. And then last but not least, this yellow that is just so yellow, it makes me sing. Okay. Is that not just unbelievable? Like, look at these colors. They're craziness, right? And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to protect my page right now from completely getting destroyed. And so what I want to do right now is I actually want to turn it so that I can get some of that drippage effect. Okay. Is that, aren't those colors unbelievable? And they blend so beautifully. And I kind of want that dark blending effect to go on. And if I want a little bit more blue, I just add a little bit more blue. Okay, and so what I'm going to do now is um, you can go ahead and take a paper towel if you want, and it creates a really cool effect, right? And if not, you can just go ahead and give it a quick heat set. Purple at the top? Sure. Okay, hang on. Let me grab some purple. Let's see what is this one. This one's French pink poof that I just got all over myself. There we go. How's that? Let it dry and then I'll apply a little bit more, okay? Not pink poo, sorry. Frenchie's pink poo. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh, did I miss a spot right there? Okay. Okay. 
I love my sprays. And just so that you guys know, Lindy Stamp Gang has officially fixed all the clogged sprayers. I am very happy to say, as you noticed, how beautifully all these sprayed. So you should not have any problems whatsoever anymore. So make sure that you um, order those for yourself. Are these colors not amazing even after they're dry? Just crazy. Yeah, so if you have some bad ones that, that don't, just go ahead and, and let them know. Okay, just like that. And I'm just making sure it's really, really dry. Yep, they send you brand new ones. I know, right? Aren't these gorgeous? You just got 15 of them? That's awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do next is, it's not completely dry, but pretty darn close. And one of the things you should know about Lindy Stamp Gang Sprays is that they're a textile dye ink, which means they're a concentrated permanent ink, which most sprays are actually not in the market. They're water-based ink, okay? Just totally different. So you'll love the vibrancy and how the fact that they're permanent. So once they're heat set, they are permanent, all right? If you're trying to talk to LSS Design. Okay, awesome. What, what design team do you work for? Oh, local scrapbook store. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that wonderful stencil that I told you about from the Crafters Workshop. And this is a really another really, really simple page, okay? This is nothing crazy. And you're going to just take it, open it up. When you splatter some water on them, these are permanent, except this is not dry. So even if you, let's see. I'm sure they'll move just because I haven't dried it all the way, but look at really cool effect for sure. I don't know if you can even see that, but let's see if we opened it up and did some really big water droplets. I'm sure it'll, it'll kind of pop. Let's see. Alcohol works really, really well too. Let's see. And then, yeah, this is really, really fun. Let me show you. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see those, um, that kind of like a water droplet effect. Okay. Yeah. So then, um, this, this crafters workshop stencil is called confetti and it's really, really fun. This is a 12 by 12, so it's a little bit big, but that's totally okay. And what I'm going to be using is black acrylic ink. And, ooh, I could, really could use this one, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to take one of my foam brushes, which is somewhere right here. Okay. And I'm going to apply it onto my palette knife or palette. Um, remember that I showed you my disposable palette um, tape uh, paper? Except this is completely dried on here. Awesome. I'm using my gigantor scissors. I hope I'm I'm gonna kill myself with these. Oh boy. Pulling out the prima. There we go. Look at that chunk. Gross. Gross. It must have set out without the cap on one day, which I am totally infamous for doing. Okay, don't do what I do. Just don't. Okay, this is not um, something you should do. Just saying. And then what I love about these is I'm just gonna put it right on the top there and apply it like that okay and if you don't know how to splatter 
just use this mask. It's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome mask. You'll see in just a moment. Okay, and then a little bit right here. You don't have to be totally perfect, just a little bit. Look at that. If that's not a funky page, I don't know what is. Like, come on now. I just love it. Right? <laughs> I knew you guys would want the name of the stencil. It's called um, Confetti. I know, right? Like super nice. And there's a couple other hearts, which I'm generally going to apply on here. So just a second. Just a sec. Let me apply a couple more. Such a wicked stencil. I love it. Just love it. Look at that. Like it doesn't need almost anything else. I don't know what I, I don't know what else I would put. Maybe a couple stamps, a couple words. But I just totally love it. And it's 832, so I think I'm going to call it a wrap. But I really just wanted to show you this funky, awesome stencil, huh? Let me put this in water really quick so that it doesn't totally dry out on me. Okay. So now it's got some water. So what do you guys think? Did you guys have some fun tonight? have some fun creating did you learn something new lots and lots of views tonight I'm just gonna shut off the uh, recording so thank you for those that um, have are watching this show after it's been recorded I'm just gonna shut off the recording right now stop